Good morning. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com, and today is September 1st, 2016, and it is Thursday. It is 9, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, welcome to the pre-market game plan, and for today, we're going to go over the future indexes, uh, YM, ES, and Q, and uh, we're also going to analyze CL that we have here in front of us and gold. So for oil, oil has been in a very descending pattern, and uh, right now it it is uh, actually resting at this area of forty four dollars, forty four dollars and twenty cents, and this is a fifty percent retracement uh, from the swing low that we had on August third, and the swing high that we had on August nineteenth. So this is uh, pretty much a line in the sand. If we're gonna break below this area, the next support area that we see is $43. Um, the descending pattern suggests that we have room to continue lower. However, remember, we have a very, very considerable area of support right here at $50. Uh, we will analyze the $44 uh, area, um, and uh, uh, if we should get a break below this $44 area, like I said, we have room to continue lower. Uh, if we should get a bounce, a bounce can be weak in this situation. We have been downtrending for the last five trading sessions. So keep that in mind that a reversal might be uh, might be happening. There might be some profit taking and especially perhaps into tomorrow. We'll keep that in mind. However, the trend is very, very strong. We are inclined to um, uh, to be bearish on CL moving forward. And uh, as a game plan, I would look for a correction into $44.50. And at that point, I will look for a turnaround point. That would be my entry area for the short. So again, remember, I'm not going to take it right here. I'm going to wait to see if it bounces all the way to 44.50 area or even 44.40 area. Uh, form some kind of support. Uh, 44.75 would be the area that I will look for a resistance and where to place my stop. Uh, and if we should get a flurry down, I will look for a target of $44. And the next target that I have uh, is $43.80. Um, and the next one, if we should get follow through $43.50. So uh, yesterday we had this uh, huge move to the downside that came at uh, 10 o'clock and these were oil numbers. So oil numbers trigger these avalanche of lower prices. So this is uh, my current bias for gold right here. Uh, let's take a look at Oh, I'm sorry, for oil. Uh, let's take a look at gold. And gold has been hovering at the support level of 1308, 13. We even have a new low of 1305. Uh, keep in mind that 1310 area, where it is trading right now, is the major support area on the daily chart. And it is also an approximate 50% retracement from uh, the low that we had on June 24th and from the high that we uh, that we had uh, on July 6th. So keep that in mind. We are um, in a, a heavy support area in GC as well. If we remain weak in this area, like I said, we have room to continue lower and the following swing targets are 1280 and 1260. Uh, for current parameters, uh, you could see that it is trading rather sloppy right now. We did have a strong bounce from this low right here of 1305 all the way to 1312. Uh, we've triggered this hourly buy. However, we're hitting uh, we're hitting a, a ceiling of resistance right here at 1313. So. Again, is it going to be bad luck? We're going to see it's knocking out this resistance. If we're going to uh, push ahead through this area, we might see another correction coming in all the way into 13, uh, 15, and I would see max correction for this one into 13, 18 area. So I really don't like the way gold is setting up. However, for day traders, I'm looking at this area of 1312 where we're sitting right now. I would move to a smaller time frame chart, such as the one or the two minute. And the way I see it right now, uh, it would be 1310 uh, for an entry for a short position. And I would have a protective stop of uh, 13. 
1313. Uh, so uh, this would be about a three point stop right here in GC. Um, and again, I will look for targets into 1309, 1308, and 1306, and obviously 1305. So these are the parameters for GC. So, um, okay, speaking of indices, let's go over YM. And we had a really nice strong move in YM overnight all the way into the London session. London session just captured this really nice move um, uh, and just knocked it back down into a support area, uh, 18,391, close to 13, um, 13, um, sorry, 18,391. So we had a full retracement, beautiful swing to the upside, completing the cone back into the support area. What are we going to do moving forward? Well, we're going to see if we're going to witness a change of the trend. You can see, however, the chart is really, really sideways in YM. Let's not forget, we're still in a very, very strong uptrend on all major time frames. So if the support level is going to hold here at 18,391, uh, this is going to be the possible new buy area. So keep in mind, uh, evaluate small time frames and an entry can be considered at 18,400 with a stop at uh, 18,390. So this is a, a 10 point stop and the targets for the, this particular move is 18,420, 18,440 uh, right here into this area and go all the way to 50 and 60. So this is going to be the move. However, if things are not going to be as planned and if we're going to get a breach of 18,391, uh, we might see a continuation lower. So what are uh, what are um, uh, parameters going to be for a possible downward move from here for a full cone retracement from into yesterday's lows? Uh, I will look to short 18,390 area um, under. 18,390 area. I'm going to have a stop. Most probably it's going to be a 10 to 15 point stop in YM uh, all above this whole number area. And I'm going to look for targets into 18,380. I'm going to go to 60. I'm going to go to 50. And then my last target is going to be into the 25 area. So this is my game plan for YM. YM continues to be my favorite uh, for today. Uh, ES, I had a chance to look at it a little bit before, um, and it continues to be choppy. However, it had a really nice shortable, uh, short area here at 77. So here's the story again. We've been talking about this yesterday, and we talked about these highs right here. Uh, and by the way, going back to YM, I hope you guys that are listening to this video and are subscribed to this channel and is really serious about you know making money i hope you took advantage of the trade that uh i have highlighted yesterday uh with the uh nym with this area of 18420 and the stop over this area and having a target into uh 184 um 18340 and 18 uh close to 18 uh, 320. So I hope you took advantage of that. That was my favorite trade of uh, for yesterday. <clears throat> Things are uh, the, quite the same for ES. Uh, came into uh, to test uh, resistance uh, into the Asian session, European session opened 3 a.m. You could see the uh, timing bubble at the bottom of the chart and took it back down, almost a full cone completion um, support level. We have 21.68, quite sloppy right here moving forward. Uh, we have some moving averages that are trying to cross over again. We have a conflict. And again, I think we might still pull back to 21.68 area. Uh, if we get a test off this area, this area can be considered only below this area can be considered as a short. I will look so an entry would be considered 21. Uh, 67.50, uh, uh, 69, uh, 69, 69.50 would be considered for the stop and look for follow through all the way into a final target of 21.60. NQ, 
um, NQ right here. Uh, again, it had a really nice move overnight. Asian session, European session opened, and uh, it is the most bullish one because we don't have a full cone completion and it's trying to change the trend. Uh, change the trend. It is trying to find support 4780 right here into this prior area of resistance, and if we find enough uh, support at this uh, at this level, uh, we are going to be bullish on the day. Uh, we're going to probably consider a, a five point, a five point to ten point stop here uh, for a target. Most probably a five point stop uh, uh, for a target into forty seven ninety and forty seven ninety five. Uh, if we break below, so again, uh, have a lot of patience of when the market opens in about uh, ten minutes. Uh, so if we break this area, consolidate week, we have odds of continuing lower all the way to forty seven. Uh, 4767, 4765, and have room to go lower to 4750. And this will be weak once again. Um, uh, needless to say that today we trigger the daily buy on the daily chart, and that happened into, uh, obviously, this uh, Asian session. Um, and we're going back down. We're going to see if this is going to be the predominant trend that we're going to have for the rest of the New York session, so this downtrend that we started in the London session. Hope this help, uh, helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at and stay tuned. Make sure you visit our um, you visit our website uh, for more information and visit our social media, um, uh, Facebook, like us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash trade out loud, and make sure you visit uh, and follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com uh, slash Anka Metcalf for more trading ideas, and we have a bunch of free webinars that we're getting ready uh, uh, for September. So back to school, guys. I uh, hope you have a wonderful, uh, wonderful profit day and see you soon.